Good night everyone and welcome back to the Nocturnal Corner with Bat. Today we are going through our next epic weapon showcase and this time I'm doing a weapon based on what a friend asked me to do and this one is going to be the Yokai, an energy weapon which is going to also be a rocket launcher. So it's kind of a combination of the two. This one is going to be decently durable at almost 500 health. I'd still recommend to not really take too much shots with this one because it definitely is not like, you know, like a cannon or anything, but it has some decent survivability to it. It has a decent amount of ammo, but I'm going to level with you. You probably want to take an extended ammo box or something because a lot of your shots are not going to be hitting too hard and I will explain that here soon. It's also going to come with six energy points so you can have two of these bad boys on there which you can actually cycle through. So this is probably one of those weapons that I don't mind cycling through usually with cannons and whatnot. I just want to have both on the same trigger just so I can hit with all the force I can. With this one it's not too bad because you know if you miss with one and you don't really get too much damage in there you can just try to hit it with the second one. And this is where I'm coming out with this is mainly when this thing hits you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of damage if it connects to the build. You're probably going to be seeing about 135 a lot and maybe around like 200 if you're lucky maybe 300 but that that really usually never happens you're going to be looking a lot of the time at that 100 range which you might be seeing in these videos the reload is a little slow so the fire rate isn't too great uh, the effective range is decent um, you can actually shoot pretty far with this thing it's not bad at all and the accuracy I think it's I don't really think it deviates too much maybe just a little bit because I've noticed it hits the ground a little sooner than I think it is but the accuracy is fine the range is fine you're just not gonna be like uh, the canyon map or like the crater I believe is what it's called where you start on one side and everybody goes in the middle and it's like a bowl you're not gonna hit them on the other side of that it's gonna blow up in the air before it gets there so keep that in mind you're not gonna be sniping too far but you can definitely snipe with it rather easily now not too easily because the drawback of this weapon is that the projectile isn't too quick you're gonna have to really like aim it and try to hit where you think they're going to be because it is a bit of a slow round even though I have mine with uh, upgraded uh, projectile speed and Jade it still feels a little slow so you try to keep that one in mind um, I'm going to recommend that any cabin you use is probably going to be something with damage because the damage, this weapon is all about critical hits and what I mean by that is basically the perk over here to where if you hit near an enemy or basically you just miss period it's going to increase the blast damage by 100% and the blast radius by 150% so you want to, I believe you're probably going to want like a harpy so you can get that 20% blast radius because it's really just going to benefit you even more because to be honest a lot of the time when you're hitting near your enemies it feels almost inconsistent because I was testing in the garage and it felt like hmm I wonder why it never hits but then I shoot right next to the build and I do no damage at all but then I left and went back and I shot next to like almost the same spot and I did like 2,000 damage and I'm just like what so the blast damage feels a little inconsistent I think there's a part in this video where you see me shoot like like damn near right in front of the guy and I'm not doing no damage. So you, you want to take that in mind. It almost feels like it's a roll of the dice at times. And the critical hit basically is if you can hit the ground next to them and really do that damage. So it's going to be like a really precision shot that you're going to want to be going for. And you want to make sure you don't hit their movement parts or anything because it's going to take away that perk and you're not going to be doing a whole lot of damage at all. So keep that in mind, and obviously the best place to hit is you're going to want to get underneath their cabin, and not cabin, but just like the whole build itself, because this thing can tear up frames, wheels, and can easily demobilize people. So if you hate those pesky spiders, if you hate those pesky hovers, this, this is a solid weapon to do that, but it's going to take a lot of skill, and for me this was a very difficult weapon to use. I honestly call this weapon the slot machine weapon, because it seems like a lot of your shots are going to be doing damn near nothing. Maybe if you hit them you'll get like that, like I said, 135. That's usually what I was getting. But you're going to get that a dopamine hit every now and then where you're going to hit underneath, get that critical hit, and you're either going to kill them in one shot or you're going to hurt them so bad that the enemy's not going to really be able to fight you no more. This is a 
this thing can tear a build in half at almost any power score. So when it comes to that, it's pretty solid, but at the same time, it is just such a skill weapon that I would almost not recommend this to new players or even like average players. This is probably going to be something when you're getting down with the mechanics of the game and you want to try something more skillful. So let's check out our first build. It's going to be by Rusty Rockets, and and this is going to be by Rusty Decepticon. I know I said by Rusty Rockets. That's the name of it. So, let's take a look. This is going to be a decently quick build. It is pretty solid, decently tanky on the sides, uh, just for the power score. Like, it's not too bad. Uh, because of the quickness, I would say it's better at just dodging, and, you know, you want to play more as a support with this one. You're not going to have a whole lot of health. And to my surprise, actually, I, I didn't even think about this, but if you use the claw wheels, you're actually going to be boosting the damage of these rockets since they're considered energy weapons. And I believe most builds besides this one are going to be using Harpy because the Harpy really complements what these rockets can do. Wow, that was a terrible shot I just did there. <laughs> but you can see right here if you can actually manage to get those critical hits. Yeah, you can take off like wheels and stuff. That was I wouldn't really consider that one a critical hit. Yeah, that was a little bit better, a little bit better underneath it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, because you want to hit somewhere like right there. Now if you just go and you actually hit them, yeah. Usually you're just not gonna be doing a whole lot. I was actually surprised by the number, because usually when you hit them with this thing, it's like just 130. Yeah, see like so so that's going to be our first build next up in the tier line is going to be the perfect yokai ng by durinol this is going to be probably one of the prettiest builds and the first one with the heartbeat uh, also using the claw wheels this one is pretty fast pretty solid build it has some decent rotation so you can actually aim all the way across you know you can't like shoot both if they're like right behind you or anything but this build is actually very solid, decently tanky, like you can take hits. Uh, you just gotta watch out for the front though, because the yokai in the front can easily kind of get taken off, especially if the enemy rams you in the front. Uh, let me turn on the lights for you. There you go. <laughs> Pretty little build. Definitely the prettiest one we're gonna have out tonight. Um, and also, I think this is the only, maybe, I'm not, I don't remember, but this one will have an invisibility module, so it'll make it a lot easier for you to actually sneak up on the enemy and go for those critical shots like so. But even while having that, it is still going to be a little difficult to do so. So let's go to our next one. I believe it's going to be this one right here, the Reboot GDC. This one is going to be the Spartanate 33. So let's see, this is going to be a decent one as well. Uh, I was able to get some decent games with this. I tried to pick out the best ones I could. It was like usually I was going too slow and not doing enough damage that I felt like I was really supporting my team especially with the reloads at times, but this is another solid one. Huh, apparently this one does have an invisibility module. Yeah, sorry about that. I couldn't remember which ones had the invisibility module. But the legs help with this one. It's pretty solid. And having the weapons elevated a little bit, like honestly having them set up a little higher, they, uh, they do feel like they can actually more easily get underneath a build. Uh, I was finding best results when you're like, if you can get to the high ground, aiming down with these weapons really like benefit, benefited trying to like get those critical hits like so, like I, I don't know why, <laughs> it just felt easier aiming down with that. I'm sure there's some tactical reasoning behind it, maybe, and I don't mean just because they can just shoot up at me, but I don't know, you get what I mean. It just feels easier at higher ground to actually shoot under their builds. But this is going to be another solid build, decently tanky, also using the Harpy Cabin and an invisibility module. Next up is going to be the Harpy Yokai, another Harpy one, by IL Fry IL. This one, this one took me a few games to actually 
get something decent out of it. I felt like I should have picked a different hover build, because especially when you're trying to aim down, you see, <laughs> that, that thing is really blocking me, but I was trying my best to get some gameplay, because I was trying to get some recording, and I didn't want to be like, oh, I didn't record for two days. But also, I, I had to uh, change that those rockets to L1, because honestly, I, I hate the whole idea of shooting them with R1, I just, it just doesn't feel natural, there's times where it's like I'm ready to take the shot, but I start hitting L1, um, dang man, I didn't realize how many of these things had invisibility modules, oh. but this one was really tough to use for me, like, I've seen people really outplay me and hovers and yokai, so it's definitely possible, it's definitely terrifying, but for me, uh, I just could this is probably the one weapon that I could not use with hovers. I was just, I was just sucking it for a while, and I had to play like for three days with this weapon to actually get some good games out of it. I just did not have the skill for this weapon at all. But, there you go. And then I believe lastly it's going to be user blueprint 1, so another build with no name. This is going to be our lowest power score one just because I, w I always want to show a uh, build at lower power score. This is going to be YYY777555111UUU. Five, 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 Excellent name. Don't know if that was supposed to represent something or not, but I digress. This is going to be a little bit of a speedy build, it's not going to be super fast like other builds, but it's the Growl Cabin, so you know it's going to be a little bit speedy. It's going to have the two yokai, uh, try not to get hit too much, because I believe these are on some sensitive little pieces, or at least it felt like it, because they were just popping off, and really it's, it's decent, you know, it has a little bit of armor on the sides, it doesn't really have a whole lot, it just, just felt like a build to be a uh, lighter power score just so you can have the yokai at like 6 to 7k and honestly they felt pretty decent you know having this weapon at a lower power score where builds are slower and usually people ram into each other it was easier just to sit behind your team and just be like oh hey enemy <laughs> and honestly since the builds are smaller less armored uh, they'll usually have like you know their explosive bit not too covered so it actually makes it easier to hit those generators, ammo boxes, the works. So, honestly, this build was pretty solid for for that power score. But anyways, that's going to be all five we're going to be showcasing today. This weapon is a mixed bag. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Just try to remember it is definitely the roll of the dice. For me, my dice was five ones and one six. So I was kind of <laughs> getting my butt kicked for like three days. So I tried my best to get you guys at least some decent games. And I, I'm trying to do what you guys asked me to do. And I recorded my voice in the gameplay. But it's probably not going to sound too enthusiastic because after three days of trying with this weapon, I'm sure you can hear me where I'm just like, Ugh! Ugh! But, and, but then there's the times where I actually hit the precision spots and I'm like, Oh, oh yeah, it's a jackpot! So, you're going to hear me. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the gameplay with commentary this time. And you guys find your favorite spot on the ceiling with your little bag of popcorn. And if you enjoy this, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. See you next time. Left. Come on, Olivia. Get him. Kick his ass. Yeah, yeah, this is what you get for not paying attention, you son of a bitch. Ah. Ah. Oh, fuck. He's gonna shoot my ass. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's not what I like to see. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Chew his ass. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. I need a teammate, because holy shit. This weapon. Come on, let's go self a team. 
Get away from him, you son of a bitch! How dare you kill Olivia! God damn, those wheels take a hit. There we go. what you get lay a lay a lion man lay a fucking landmine now you son of a bitch oh yes you did huh oh, yeah lay one now huh lay one now hold on there you go there you go there you go that's how you use this weapon you just gotta you just gotta wait for them to have no wheels then you can actually hit them of course oh shit Four enemies. Ah! <gasps> uh, I didn't know that was part of this map. I've never seen that pit of death before. Oh, wow. I hit him pretty good, didn't I? Yeah, I hit him very good, didn't I? Oh, fuck your landmines, bitch. Aw, oh, damn it. Well, that was anticlimactic. Why you roll? What? Uh, turn? Please? <laughs> what? What did I hit? Oh, yeah, get it, Michael. Yep. I'm looking forward to using those. I'm probably gonna miss every shot because my accuracy is the equivalent of dog doo doo, but. Yeah! When this weapon hits. No, oh, we're reloading. No, no, no. Give me my. Oh, oh. Our day. Thank you, guys. Up. Oh, what? Dude, what the fuck? What? <laughs> when it works, it works.
and the weapon works. That face, your clan, they're getting smoked. Don't wait, never mind. They got a kill. Good job, Rick. Wait, wait, it's a spider, I can do it! No, no, okay, that was a bit this far. So... Dude! When the weapon works. Where is he? Let's get him! Come on! Come on, spider. Where is he? Where's his bitch ass? You. you wanna get hit by that again? No. Oh, never mind, you got him. Mm, GG. Great job, Phoenix. Great job. There we go. You know what? We may lose or whatever, but you know, when we make a shots like that.
weapon requires too much skill, and it's a lot of skill I do not possess to use this weapon. This is just like a, a nightmare situation. It doesn't even feel like you have to be a sniper. <laughs> no, no, it does. It feels like you have to be the ultimate sniper. You have to, like, try to miss them on purpose. What if I start taking any hits or if I get pushed? Nothing. I gotta like wait for them to bump like that over there. But all of our teammates are kind of just like, in distance from one another. Oh, that miss? the damage
And we're fighting a clan. I just want to see if this weapon can actually do anything at low power score. Because at high power scores, like, it is a drag, man. It is such a drag. And I think... I think I'm just over it. Like, you look, you can do shit like that. Like, that rarely ever happens. I got real lucky with that one. Like, I guess I got even luckier. I guess he just flipped right into a ditch or some shit. Okay, maybe this is where this thing is meant to be, is low power score. Because God forbid high power score. God forbid you play this thing in high power score. I'm trying to get some hits. These guys are a little fast. Holy hell! Look, I'm starting to think this is where this is meant to be played. This thing is shining at low power score a lot better. It's doing a lot better than high power score. Like, high power score, this thing can fuck your day up. But the chances... Ugh. Slow projectile. Let's go get him. gonna run. Oh, oh, where is he running? Holy shit. Yo, this guy is run running. God damn. There we go. Whew. 